You all right? I'll be fine. I was you last week. I know exactly what you're going through. You didn't have to sit through this championship game, though. No, but I did sit out our first state title game. That wasn't easy to do. For all I know, this could be my only shot at it. Then I guess we'll just have to do this all over again next season, huh? Good luck out there tonight. Thanks. Who rained on your parade, little Miss Sunshine? I am not in the mood for this right now. It's because you're not playing, I take it. Like I haven't had a bad enough day already. Now I have to deal with you. I know you're upset. But that dude Tommy's your brother. And brothers should always have each other's backs. And wipe that sour puss look off your face. It's game time. Crown a champion tonight here at Levine Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. It's the LSU Tigers and the Clemson Tigers. You okay, son? Yeah. Yeah, coach. I, I just. Tommy. You all right, Tommy? We need some help over here. Hurry! You got my back, right? Of course. Always. Then go out there and finish this thing. One shot. That's all any of us ever really gets. Why am I? whole life for one shot at being a head coach. And here I am. And this is your one shot to go out there and show the world who you are. Are you the guy who's gonna lead this team to victory? Or are you gonna be remembered as the guy who got caught up in the moment and let it all slip away? I know you're worried about Tommy. Sure, we all are. But this is your one moment. Now get after it, son. Get some. The pressure, perhaps getting to this young quarterback as LSU trails at the break. Just one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national championship oh boy, game. You ain't got no feet. Tiger offense if we differentiate them. They are set for their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Nothing less, baby. Nothing less. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. A.J. McGrath, 75 yards. And LSU has jumped out in front. After the departure of Tommy Matthews at the half, the offense able to regroup and put the football in the end zone. Yeah, that's something they couldn't accomplish in the first two quarters of this game. So finally, finding their way downfield. I think Coach Red O'Brien, he hadn't shown a preference for either quarterback. But this kid who's out there right now, one thing we know about him, he's a fighter. Yeah, he, you're exactly right. I was just going to say that, Charles. He, he's a fighter, and he does have plenty of upside. We know that he can lead. You and I sitting with him this week. Didn't you just see a guy who could step into any locker room and control the presence of his teammates? I just remember when we left that room, you said two things to me. I think this kid's going to be poised under pressure. And to me, he's a natural leader, and I concur with both of those statements. They'll run on first down. Jewel, and down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. 
For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Here's Cooper off the play fake. He's going to air one out. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. This is Henry. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Cooper now on third down. Under pressure, and down he goes. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. They had nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything, nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 16 yards, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. He'll have a first down past the 40. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. Let's go! Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brooks. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. On first down. It's Kelly, and he'll have a gain of three to the 33. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's a second and seven. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let one fly here for Avant, and that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Well, since he's coming to the game at quarterback, two trips into the end zone, and this offense starting to look remarkably relaxed. I love that description because it's evident to me, and it's evident to everyone watching, and now everyone's getting the memo. He's not a backup. He's played just as much as Matthews has this season. Yeah, that's the thing, Charles. There's the old adage of if you have two quarterbacks, you have none. Well, I think they're just they're, they're taking that script and throwing it right out the window because they're saying we've got two quarterbacks, and we like them both. I love the way you just said that. Not in this case does the old adage hold up. I think we've got a new one. They feel like they've got two good quarterbacks, and the offense should respond no matter who's on the field. Exactly. The Clemson Tiger offense have to specify that. They're set for their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, 
the punter no longer exists for their offense, and that's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. It's a gain of 35. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And they have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and 10. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Back now here on EA Sports. Here's first and goal, Clemson. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take this in for a Clemson touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked play. very well. well he play. and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. LSU takes over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Bengal Tiger offense, if we differentiate them, they are set for their next drive. Boy, this is such a nerve-wracking time right now for both of these fan bases. And heck, my palms are sweating, CD. I don't even have a, a dog in the fight right now. Yeah, and you're doing better than me because it's just your palms sweating. Right now, I have soaked my shirt with this ball game and everything going on. Can you imagine what it's like for that young quarterback down on the field if you and I are like this? That's the thing. Your right leg is tapping up and down. My left leg's tapping up and down. I can only imagine what it's like to be taking it right down, 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 baby. And he lost the football. It's going the other way. Jeremiah Kelly, the ball carrier. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Going deep this time for Miller. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. Let's go. Let's go. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, we want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. Andy, do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flush to his right. On the crossing route, complete. It's Brooks. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And now he's going to use it. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. And taking it in from 11 yards out. And LSU adds on to their advantage. 
Remember, Charles, with Tommy Matthews under center, they weren't able to get the ball into the end zone. They had a single field goal, but he exits the game in half, and this offense since then, they've been on fire. That's the third touchdown in this second half. Yeah, I'm sorry I jumped in there on you there, partner, but you're exactly right. I was thinking the same thing you were. On fire, third touchdown in the second half. He's taking this offense and squarely put it on his back, and he is actually carrying them, and what they believe, to the national championship podium. Well, time will tell if they will be on that podium and hoisting that trophy. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Clemson Tiger offense have to specify that. They're set for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. He's going to let it go again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. Better than that. Let's give him a shot. We always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here, when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Third down and 13. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That's caught by Kelly. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> you got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. They'll run on first down. Murray. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On the delay, it's Kelly. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll run here. It's Murray. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Flushed out right. He can, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. It's their quarterback. The second touchdown of the night. And LSU adds on to their advantage. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. 
This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The 25-yard line. The Clemson Tiger offense have to specify that. They're set for their next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this. What I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded at about the 28. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. LSU with a first and 10. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Well, they changed quarterbacks at half and did not miss a beat. Here they are, your national champions. And celebration time on that sideline. It took a change in quarterback. His thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are the national champions. certainly was a setback but the bond that these two kids have is really strong and although only one of the heartbreak kids was out there in the second half Tommy's spirit was with him and I believe you hear from Mr. Matthews the hoodie gave it away he's stable but we're only allowing family to go back right now that's great because he's my brother Season. I think there's only one individual on everyone's mind tonight. This one's for my brother, Tommy Matthews. You think that's something? <laughs> I'm just see it in person. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. Uh, uh, oh, thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Coaching the guys in their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch their flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I stay behind, make sure you were all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, they did leave you the trophy. They wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. <laughs> How are you feeling, buddy? <sighs> Like a sack of crap. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> hey, man. Promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year. We'll make you win the championship. Together. Next year? Mm. You know I will, brother. Together. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. Did she say what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. 
You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Is that him? He's an hour early. Coach? Don't look too disappointed. No, no. I was just suspecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... I'm here to talk to you about next season. Yeah, sure, talk away. It was, uh, it was something you said at the, uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's... Something good, I hope? Well, it was something you said about treat your men like your beloved sons and I'll follow you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about the way I treat you boys, and, and I wasn't being fair to you and Tommy, for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even gonna be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's gonna be right as rain. I just don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. But I stand firmly behind it, because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life, and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, and based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a late-round selection, if at all. Jeez. Don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward. I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son. And my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Your talent is a true gift. And this one that I'm going to give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. <laughs> I appreciate the faith, Coach, but if I'm going to play QB at the next level, seems like leaving now is my only shot. That's uh, probably true. Wow. I did not expect all this to come to a head so soon. Well, anything you need, just call. And when those NFL coaches come calling, trust that I'll have your back. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. Cupcake! So, the NFL Combine. I spent so much time preparing for it, but 